Hey comic book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0 and fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all-important comic book review so you the fans can make a decision what comic books to buy. And today guys, we're talking about Hank Johnson, Agent of Hydra, issue number one. That's right guys, uh, really cool cover and awesome concept here to see what a Hydra agent goes through in his everyday normal life when he's not that Hydra agent. Uh, now this book is written by uh, David Mandel and the artwork is done by Michael Walsh. When you fl flip through the book, um, I thought the artwork uh, really fits the book, especially when you um, uh, when you read it. It's got good colors in there and it just goes through the sequences of an everyday family uh, nice, good facial expressions. Again, cool colors in here. Uh, we get to see um, uh, Madame Hydra in this issue as well as she's like that that hot secretary boss or whatever. So she's in there as well. Just good artwork. Fits the book perfectly. Uh, you know, and it, it was just awesome book to look at. Uh, so what did I think of the story? What was the story about? First off. Uh, again, this is the life of a Hydra agent, and his name happens to be Hank Hydra, or Hank Johnson. And uh, in the beginning of this book, we wind up seeing uh, Nick F Fury come to, uh, I guess, Hydra headquarters or whatever it is, and a screw drops on the ground, and you wind up seeing a, a Hydra agent. He actually winds up getting shot. Or Hank Johnson gets, you know, picks up this thing. The other agent gets um, shot, and he survives. And he just has this bad start to his day. He comes home from work, and uh, right away now he has to deal with the, with the wrath of the wife, you know. And this is a very relatable book if you're a father or a family a family member, or you got kids, and whatever it is, because it has to do with that everyday life. And the Hydra job, the Hydra agent job, is just treated just like a normal everyday job. And uh, you get to see him deal with his kids, and his kids are fighting, and 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 just the character moments in here are priceless when it comes to the 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 daughter and the brother fighting. He's like, "You pulled my hair, you did this, and you did that," and um, it really gets to see how busy your life can actually be as a dad when you're trying to work full time and and things like that and uh you get to see all the different types of events that Hank Johnson goes to he goes to his uh you know his partner's funeral um he winds up going to um uh what's it called he winds up going to uh the the corporate baseball game where it's the Hydra uh, baseball team against the Shield baseball team and uh he, his life is so busy, then he has to go to a kid's birthday party. He winds up going to the wrong kid's birthday party. And uh, he's trying to steal the presents back. And it is just so flipping hilarious. You get to see dialogue between uh, uh, between Hydra agent members there about season's tickets to the Nets, about who's going to a basketball game. You wind up seeing going to this um, boring chariot event that they all can't stand. You get the hot secretary, which again is Madam Hydra hitting on Hank Johnson and him trying not to, uh, you know, fall into the trap there of cheating on his wife. It's just such a hysterical book. And, uh, you know, towards the end of this book, uh, you wind up finding out that freaking Modoc and, and, uh, and Madam Hydra are actually married. And it's just such a great book to read. This is one of those books where I'm not really going to give away that many spoilers because um, it's to take it all in and get the full effect of this book, um, you have to read it. This book truly, truly made me laugh out loud. The character moments were hysterical. Um, it just was the everyday real world in this particular book, but it just had to do with Hydra and S.H.I.E.L.D. It was phenomenally well done. I thought it was awesome. And for me, it was so good and so relatable in so many ways. For me, anyway, I'm probably going to consider this maybe book of the year. It was such an original story and something different that we really haven't seen. You know, and I would love, I would love if this was an ongoing series just to see the everyday life of this guy. Great book, great read. If you guys haven't had a chance to go to the comic shop yet, 
please pick this up. I think this is this will put you in a good mood when you get done reading it. So guys, after reading Hate, Hank Johnson, Agent of Hydra, issue number one, I give this one a five out of five stars. Great book. Awesome read. So guys, leave me in the comments below what you thought of Hank Johnson, Agent of Hydra, issue number one. Do you agree with me? Do you not? Dis do you disagree with me? And guys, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. Till the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye.